and the model you've just generated was what I call a plain model because it doesn't have any discrete traits on it. it there was just the sequences to that. And the outputs of lots of different models I've put in, in here for you. There's a load of them. Um, what you get, so you've got your log file and your trees file for each model. You've also got this little ops file is a diagnostic file and it's to do with how well that MCMC chain was running. You don't actually need to do um, anything about that. The other thing though was I captured the final screen output. So when that thing was running it was saying um, you know at step whatever likelihood is this, how, how many hours per million states it was running. And at the end, it tells you how long that run took. So all the things that say screen output tells you how long the files run. So the next stage, which I will just show you, <coughs> is to load those plain files into Tracer to look at them. After you've made your beauty file and you've just started it running to make sure it runs, I want you to open those log file outputs in Tracer. And I want you to note it, what the burn-in is. In, in fact, it, it's all 10%. Um, but there are some files in there where the chain isn't very good. Um, and what I would like you to do is compare the root height and clock rate um, as in the mean and the intervals for the different models. So in the plain folder there is the SRD06 models and there's also the GTR models and I've made them for strict and relaxed clocks and I've made them under different population sizes. So you can load them all into Tracer and see. And what I want you to do is say, well, is there much difference between those posteriors, priors and likelihoods between all those different models. What you'll find is there'll be some small difference, but um, then to work out whether those differences are significant, you should run a thing called the Bayes factor test. And I'll, once you've loaded things up, I will show you how that is. Okay. So, from the play file, where do we go? So, after you've made your beauty XML file, just try running it in Beast to see whether it will run. When it runs, then go to the Animal Bioscience directory and look in the runs for practical data and open them in Tracer. Let me show you Tracer. Tracer is again, it's in that training software programs file in software. Tracer. So this is Tracer and this will let you load in those log files. So import a trace file into Tracer, opening those ones I've made earlier in runs for practical, plain ones, outputs. Let's just try this one first of all. And then from here, I can open another one as well. So this, this, was the, this is the GTR model with a relaxed log normal clock and a constant population size. So now I will open similar, in fact, the one you generated. And now, if I click both of them, I can compare. So this is the first file, the GTR. This is the second one, the SRD06, comparing the posteriors, the priors, the likelihoods. But then, when you look at the root height, actually, if you look carefully, mostly these are about the same. I'll show you, actually, I'll, while I'm here, I'll show you a base factor test. 
So with both of these selected, I want to compare these two models as to how, how well they fit the data. Now in some parameters, they're giving almost the same answer. So <coughs> I would like to do a model comparison to see if one is truly better than the other. And we will do it on the likelihood trace. We'll compare the likelihoods. We will use the AICM analysis type. For the purposes of this and speed, I will just drop down my bootstrap replicates. <laughs> and I will click OK. So what it has done, I hope, is it's compared the <coughs> GTR model with the SRD06 model. In fact, the SRD06 model is quite a lot better than the GTR model because this, compared to this, is positive. Okay.